Ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, Transformers fans everywhere, LPS, Last Prime Speculator, here to bring you another trailer breakdown as frequently as I can. You guys can thank Eric a lot. Follow him on Twitter. He talked me into doing this. I wasn't even going to do it. I saw it. I cheated. I, I'll admit I cheated, guys, but we're going to do it. There's not much to talk about, or is there? I didn't think I would even have a speculation, and then I came home and I watched it. So we're going to watch the trailer first, if you guys haven't seen it. It's a 28-second clip. It's called uh, Transformers The Last Night Clip Micro Fiatch, or Fiatch. Whatever the hell it is, I can't even say it. Uh, 2017, so it's called Rethink the Past. So here we go. A thousand years we've kept it hidden. The secret history of Transformers. Not bad, not bad. There's a lot there for 28 seconds. I mean, for 28 seconds, this is impressive. This is deep as shit. So let's just start out right away. What's crazy here, the first she uh, scene with Hound. Hound's pointing. Hound's leading. I love this. I'm a huge history buff. But they are tying the lore of humanity with Transformers. They are actually connecting why they're there. Right away, Hound leading the charge of the knights, like the King Arthur days, right? And it's crazy. He's got a cape. You know, like just like the knights did uh, during the medieval medieval times and dark ages. He's pointing, but what's crazy is I've always thought that was Optimus should be leading that, right? What is how I'm pointing at? He's leading the charge. He's leading the charge of an invasion, uh, something involving the humans and Transformers, right? Um, what's crazy is that why wasn't this ever brought up a pop? But what's also crazy is if you think about the IMAX poster, the 3D one with Dragonstorm in the front, though I did a trailer on it, uh, check it out on uh, YouTube. I, I thought it was good. But anyway, it, I, I thought that was Orion Pax, but it, it's Hound. Interesting. Very interesting. Behind every battle, right here is a World War I scene. Like I said, I'm a huge history buff. I'm, I, I can't really make it out. It looks, I'm, I think it, from what I can see, um, it's a... Uh, it's an American troop during the World War times, and you can see the Transformer in the background. Can't really make out who it is and don't really feel like speculating. Like I said, Aaron Lott, good job, bud. Uh, follow him on Twitter. There you get two, bro. Um, this would be what a Transformer form would be with a World War I tank because, you know, technology is not good. This is the beginning of the industrial uh, stage of the world, and then hence World War II, right? Behind every victory, and Hound's leading. Hound's on the American flag, which is crazy. This 28 seconds, there's a lot of Hound. Now here's Bumblebee, intriguing pose. Look, he's got the old, the old, uh, old type of style. Like I, I'm assuming uh, like during what the 40s. But if you look down, I, the only reason I say the 40s is that those are World War II. Those are American bombers. What? And here's the speculation. What if that's a hint of uh, Bumblebee's future prime form? What if he be able to fly? And I mean, because he doesn't remember this time either. Speculation. Just throwing it out there. Or what if that's Hot Rod coming in? Right. Another one. Moving on, sorry, life as a secret. And then Drift, leading the the samurais, the, the Japanese samurais. Like, like and th that's what their life form is built around. Like, I mean, in their culture, their way, the samurai knights. I, I mean, my buddy knows a lot about it. This is what they envisioned back in the days, their gods. And that's exactly what Drift looks like. That would explain the human connection in that part, which would be cool if they tied into that lore with, uh, with Drift. Because Drift's the most known unknown. He's very curious, and I know he's dangerous. He was a Cybertronian knight. This was awesome. I'm going to do a video on Starscream, guys. I promise. Um, Starscream is leading the Germans, right? So here's the war. So we saw the Autobot side. Now Starscream's leading the charge with the Germans, which obviously was one of the main reasons to start World War I, which was awesome to see Starscream. But he's leading the invasion as well. He's charging them up. And he, it's crazy. He looks the same. He looks the same. World War I, that's, that was cool though. Now here's the intriguing part. Oh my God, Iron Eye. Iron Eye, go back real quick at the very end. What's so cool is that look at the ships. Sorry, guys. Look at the ships. Th this was awesome. I had to like watch it a couple times and I found it. And he's fighting inside the water, right? Which was that part where Bumblebee and Prime, I'm assuming, are fighting. They're going after that. But look at the ships. What is this, like Napoleon days, right? This... Transformer, the unknown, the, the, the one that gets, in my opinion, the most screen time, is standing over what looks like 
American troops or English descent. Maybe that this is either the people that maybe this is uh if it's Britain, it's um it could be Anthony Hopkins' character. I'm pretty sure back in that time it still is. You're required to join the military. This could be one of the knights in a Cybertronian pre-transformer form. Remember the first one when they came in that form? Or or there's the speculation. I, I when I saw it and I made sure to do some concept art, I instantly thought it was lockdown. That's who I thought it was. I I thought lockdown. Yes, lo- lockdown who was coming for Optimus. Right? Remember the rule, keep your friends close, keep your enemies closer. What if he was searching for Optimus? What if Optimus is actually the hidden treasure? What if this is like the pack? Because you remember in Dark of the Moon, the third Dark of the Moon, the third one, the humans made, had a contract. Dylan, his father, he said he inherited a client, and this could have been the secret that was keep your friends close, keep your enemies closer. Anthony Hopkins' character could have been the guys fighting the Decepticons. But what if this is lockdown during World War II time? And here I found some concept art just to back it up, but that that would make that would explain a lot, and that would be able to connect them. All is that what if it is that whole invasion that they're going after is Optimus, right? Because he was created, right? And if nobody can remember what happened in the time, something got the memory got erased completely from all the Transformers, right? Um, but I don't know, guys. I mean, concept art, like I said, this video is getting longer than I want, guys. Hope you enjoyed that speculation trailer breakdown 28 second snippet. I love you so much to my subscribers. Thank you so much. Peace.